welcome to another pregnancy update. I went into my 20, 20th, 22nd week uh, today, so I'm gonna give you an update on the 21st week of my pregnancy. And as you can see in the intro, the baby or Theo is now the size of a baseball hat. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of a weird example, but the other ones I could find just weren't fun to color, so yeah. And for symptoms, I kind of have all the same ones as last week, so I'm not gonna go through them all again. So if you wanna know the symptoms that I have, they're the same as last week, with a few exceptions, so I'm gonna go into those now. The leg cramps that I talked about last week that are back, they are definitely back, and for some reason I get like persistent pain from them, because I remember them from when I was, was pregnant with Tyrion, and uh, it was like a very sharp, sudden pain, and then when it, when it went away after 20 seconds or something, um, it was completely gone. But this time around, I have like pers persistent pain in, in my lower legs um, for days. <laughs> so I had a cramp last night, and I can definitely feel it right now, just whenever I like move my leg. Um, and I don't know why that is. I think maybe I pull something when I have the pain, but I don't know how to not do that, so I don't know, that's kind of weird. And another thing is that apparently, even though I tried to look it up, I have gotten something wrong, and that is round ligament pain, which I've talked about before, but I have now found, as far as I understand right now, the right translation to what I'm talking about, because I'm what I'm talking about that I had a lot with Tyrion is called foglossning in Swedish, and it was kind of difficult to find the correct translation. I'm gonna actually read it from my phone, or I will say it wrong. Um, pelvic girdle pain. And that does sound like more appropriate for what I'm talking about. And basically I have started having that, so that's where I'm even bringing it up. Um, for me, I have so far I have the pain like smack dab in the middle of my pelvic bone, uh, which is not fun, not nice at all, uh, and I did have that with Tyrion. I also had a bunch of those pains around my hips, so I'm basically just waiting for that to arrive too. And the last thing that I don't know if it's pregnancy related or not, is that I think that I have a pinched nerve, I think that's what it's called. Uh, again, I'm kind of worried when it comes to like medical terms and stuff, because obviously I'm not very good at them in English, uh, but I think that's what it's called. And I had it like maybe two weeks ago, and it's I can't explain exactly where it is, but it's kind of in my lower back or um, tailbone area, sort of. And it's on my, let's see, right side. Um, and it wasn't too bad last time, but then it, I got it again a couple of days ago. And I even talked about it in that day's vlog, because it, after like most of the day had passed, I actually was in so much pain that I couldn't even like stand on my right leg, because every time I look like put weight on my foot um it hurt so much that i kind of like almost fell apart <laughs> on the floor um and it was kind of scary and i was worried that there was it was gonna stay like that but then it went away or like got better after an hour or so and then the day, next day i didn't feel it at all and i haven't felt it today either so it's kind of weird and i i hope that it doesn't come back and i i don't know if it's got to do with the pregnancy or not but it's definitely something that's happening and yeah that's, I think that's all I had to say about symptoms today. And then for a fetal movement, uh, Theo is moving like crazy. He's moving the most when I lie down on my back, especially in the evenings. But also during the day, I have started feeling him now uh, when I've been at, in class at the university, which is kind of like, I don't know, distracting, I guess, because I'm like, whoa, okay, that's a kick and that's another one. And then I realized, oh, wait, me, wait, maybe I should like pay attention to to uh, the teacher and stuff, so <laughs> that's been kind of interesting. Last week I talked about weight gain and kind of being worried about it because I've been gaining a lot of weight for the past, well, then it was the past three weeks. Um, and today, compared to a week ago, I actually have only <laughs> gained, gained uh, can't speak, gained half a kilo, which I think is about one pound. And the other weeks I had gained two pounds a week, so I guess that's better. Um, I did talk about it with my midwife because I did have an, have an appointment um, last week and I, that's what I wanted to go into now, so I might as well talk about the weight gain right away. Um, I, I just kind of consulted her if I should be worried or not and she did say that 
um, I should definitely pay attention to what I'm eating and obviously I know that already I just don't have very good like self um, what's it called discipline I guess <laughs> um, but she also said that the, my weight gain so far throughout the pregnancy is like totally normal so as long as it doesn't escalate uh, I'm fine so that felt good and other things I talked about with her was let's see um, definitely delivery fear or delivery anxiety is something that I had with Tyrion and something that I have now as well doesn't really help me that I've already given birth once I am terrified nonetheless and so I talked to her about that and we are gonna meet up actually tomorrow for another appointment and we are gonna write kind of a referral letter letter thing to a psychologist who is specialized in um, delivery fear and I went to one with Tyrion too when I was pregnant with him so maybe I'll go to the same one I don't know uh, but it just feels good to get that ball rolling because I feel like if I can manage to get over my fear um, far enough to actually have another vaginal pregnant or uh, delivery that would be the best case scenario so yeah we're getting on that tomorrow um, we also talked about nursing and PCOS I don't remember if I actually mentioned this in last week's video but that was something that I wanted to talk about with her because I have recently learned um, that PCOS which is what I have which is what made it so difficult for us to conceive um, can kind of mess with your hormones to the point where you don't have as much milk supply as you should um, and my midwife had never heard that so I didn't get much help on that account um, but I will keep looking into it and she did say that there are nursing specialists uh, that you can get in touch with but she said to kind of wait until the problem arrives if it does and I guess she's right I thought that we would actually um, take a blood sample and urine sample at that uh, appointment that I had last week but apparently she didn't want to do that I think she said something about my last blood test being so good that we didn't have to do it just yet she did uh, do some tests she took my blood pressure and she said that it was lower than last time not to a point where you get worried or where it's not in in the normal range uh, but it, it was lower than last time and she also said that that's quite common uh, around the halfway point in your pregnancy just because you have so much blood in your body um, that your blood pressure kind of goes down and she also said that that could have something to something to do with my kind of fainting spells that I have had it was a few weeks ago now um, knock on wood but um, she said that that could could be one of the reasons that I had um, felt a few times that I was about to faint and she also listened to the heartbeat so I got to hear the heartbeat for the first time um, and that was awesome too it sounds just like I remember it from pregnancy from my pregnancy with Tyrion um, I don't remember how many beats it was at but she said that it was totally normal so that's all that counts and the third thing the last thing that she did was actually measure um, my uterus this was the first time that that she measured the uterus it was 20 centimeters that doesn't really tell me much but she said that it's normal so and today I don't really have anything else to talk about because I haven't really bought anything else for Theo and it's just kind of been a slow week so let's just go into the belly shot so here is the belly from the front my waist is disappearing more and more each week I'm almost completely like stick straight here now <laughs> and then we have it from the side and from the other side if that's interesting too I don't know but that's usually how they do it <laughs> so that's the belly please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our daily vlogs and we will see you tomorrow hey doll.